Hey, it's your main man, Sabado. Who's Sabado? You know, Sabado, that retired cat. Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is just a channel where I'm a 52-year-old retired guy that retired early that really is looking to help inspire others uh, through my journey and, and helping others understand that the goal of early retirement or retiring just a day or a couple months or a couple years early is something that might be possible for you. And we get to that through a, a whole host of uh, topics and, and a variety of topics. And it's just real conversation from a real person about real things that I think can help you essentially live your best life because that's what it's all about. Um, and, and one of the ways I do that is through uh, subscriber comments. Um, you know, if you're if you subscribe to the channel or if you're watching the channel and, and you have questions, you know, feel free to leave those in the comments because I read all of the comments and I try to respond to all of the comments. Um, and because I think what's, it, it's not what's important to me uh, that matters, but it's really what's important to you. What are those things that are on your mind? What are those things that you feel like are holding you back from being able to retire? And, you know, some of the things holding us back are finances. And I understand that. And I don't expect that everybody's going to be able to retire at 51, 52 but you may be able to retire at 55. I have one subscriber who's 57 looking at retirement. I have another one that's 58, but it's better 57 or 58 than looking at 70. And so my goal is to help you with some of the pragmatic tools and resources and just some of the inspiration, quite frankly, to help you feel comfortable uh, as you move on your path towards uh, retirement, whether it's early or otherwise, or those of you that are already retired, perhaps in perspective, that helps you feel better or cope with some of the things that you deal with because even our ages may be different a lot of stuff we deal with i guarantee you is a lot the same so on that note uh, let's get into it uh, i mentioned earlier that i read all the comments and i try to uh, respond to all the comments and when you have questions in the comments uh, i try to make sure that i follow back up with those questions um, back on the channel and so today holding true to that I'd like to share with you a comment that I received and, and answer the question uh, from Jessica Marie 2996. And she says, are you married? Um, I imagine being retired with the ability to travel and go camping is peaceful, but how do you stay entertained? And so the answer to the first part of the question is, yes, I'm married, happily married. Um, my wife and I spend an incredible amount of time together every day. We, uh, we're one of those couples that actually enjoys being around each other, going on vacations and, and doing different things. But, you know, retired life isn't just about vacations. There's a point where, and I think any retiree will tell you, is that you go through a stage where it's a vacation. And in fact, you might take a vacation when you first get on retirement. But then after a while, you, you get into a pattern, you get into a routine. And, and one of the areas that uh, I think most retirees can benefit from if they haven't already incorporated this into um, their life is setting up some routines. So that way, you know what it is that you're going to do. You gain some fulfillment. You don't find yourself getting bored because boredom is one of the worst things that can happen to um, an early retiree. And if I have any retirees out there that are watching the channel, let me know what, what you think. Do you agree with that? Do you find yourself getting bored? Do you wish you had more to do? Or are you just living your best life, you know, living mi vida loca, as, as they say, and, and doing all the things that you want to do all the time? I mean, some are, some aren't, but I'd be interested to hear uh, some of your perspectives. And also, let me know where you're from. Uh, I, I like to know, uh, I had somebody from the UK, and I, I just never, in my wildest thoughts, uh, would have thought that a guy from California that, that happened to find himself in a set of circumstances where he can retire early would find himself corresponding with people from the United Kingdom or some of the other countries that uh, that I'm, I'm getting comments from. So I'm, I'm humbled by that, but I, it's, it helps me just understanding who I'm talking to because I do understand that dynamics are different in different parts of the country and in, in different countries. So what I thought I would do is talk to you a little bit about what my day looks like. I, I think there's a lot of things. It's easy to answer the question about how do I stay entertained. Uh, you know, I could say the easy answer is I watch TV, I go camping. I, I go on vacations, I go fishing, I, I do a bunch of things, but that's not what I do every day. And if, if I uh, were doing that every day, then I'd probably get worn out doing that. And so I, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about 
you know, what my day looks like and, and how I how I schedule my day. Because I think it'll give you an idea of how structured my routine is, but also how unstructured my routine is. Um, so I'll start the first thing in the morning. I wake up somewhere between about 6.30 and 8, in the, in, at least in the summertime. And, and right now we're in the summer. The sun comes up earlier. It stays up later. And my circadian rhythm is such that as soon as that light hits the window, I'm waking up. I may not get out of bed, but I'm waking up. And one of the first things I do, and, and most of you probably know, is I have a cup of coffee in the morning. I actually have three cups of coffee every day. Um, some people say, how do you do that without bouncing off the walls? But the most energy I expend in any given day besides exercising is probably on this channel. And so I'm incredibly excited about the channel, but the most anybody that knows me says, you know, that Sabado guy is pretty chill. And so... Uh, I have three cups of coffee and, and then I go out to the garden and I, I take a look at all of the vegetables that I'm growing. I've got beans growing. I've got watermelon that just sprouted, so I'm happy about that. I have my wildflowers, uh, pumpkins that just sprouted, so I'm happy about that. Have an I have a couple of avocado trees that sprout out of my compost pile. Uh, some tomatoes. Um, uh, I have Roma tomatoes and I have some other tomatoes that I don't know what kind they are. I have cucumbers. Uh, that are there. And so, and I, I just harvested a bunch of carrots and I have onions drying out. So I have, I have this huge garden that I'm incredibly proud of. And I think if you go back and look at some of my other videos, you'll see some of those pictures. But I go and walk through the garden, and have a cup of coffee. And usually about that time every day, I get hit with a little bit of inspiration. And so I'll put together a YouTube short and I'll just talk about whatever's on my mind or whatever the question is of the day. Or if somebody brings something to me and I want to make sure I follow up on it, I do that that first thing in the morning, usually about eight, nine o'clock, get that posted. Um, and then I, I ask myself, self, is there anything pressing today that I need to do? Uh, my goal every day is to have one thing to do or to, to accomplish one thing every single day. And so, for example, one of the things I accomplished today was I went to, uh, my wife and I went and bought a new mattress. The mattress that we had was was getting worn. We wanted to get a new mattress. So we went and, and bought a new mattress and, and went through that whole process. And that's the one thing I wanted to do. And then after that, I went to the driving range for a little bit. Um, then I, I actually was just telling my wife, I almost got into an accident because the power went out and the lights, the, the, street, the, the, the street lights went out. And a car, I guess, behind me didn't know that you're supposed to stop when the street lights go out and the person almost ran me. But I was able to get around the corner. Uh, before they got there because fortunately i'm one of the few people in the world or in america that practices defensive driving so i saw him coming at me at 40 miles an hour i made that right turn and then he kept going because i don't think he knew he was supposed to stop the light went to go get a case for my phone um to because my screen cracked and i want to get a screensaver and then i went to the store but i want to do that one thing and that one thing today was going to um, was going to buy a mattress. So I find one thing, and 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 that gives me for that day. If I accomplish that one thing, then I've done what I need to do. The other thing I wanted to make sure I got done this week was cleaning my grill. Uh, some of you may know, I love um, barbecuing. I, I barbecue almost every day. I'm not going to barbecue today because I don't I haven't figured out how to barbecue tacos. Uh, but I like to barbecue. And the other day, I was out barbecuing and. You know, in the art of procrastination, I hadn't cleaned out the grease pit at the bottom. I had a grease fire out there. I had to throw some baking soda on it. So I made it a point today to, to clean that. And I knew I wanted to do that this week. So I want to do that today. Um, and then, when I, but when I do go, I try never to not, I, ne I try never to be out past about five o'clock in the evening. Because part of my own process, and I might have picked it up from my father, is I like to get out of the house and go and do things. I'm, I'm from the generation of kids that used to play outside and we would play outside until the lights come on about five o'clock. And so I, I tend to try to figure out what are the things I need to do outside of the house. If I play golf, I play golf and I try to get a tee time that allows me to get home at five o'clock. Um, but again, visit with friends when I go on long walks or any of those types of things before five o'clock. And then between about five and seven, um, I cook dinner. Either I cook dinner or my wife cooks dinner. Uh, we actually have a great system because I love to, I love to barbecue, I love to cook, uh, I love to garden, I love to do all of these things. But what we what we'll do is we'll, um, and this is all on Monday, folks. 
And so, um, and so what will happen is some days she doesn't want to do the dishes. And so then I'll empty the dishwasher. And my little trick is, and don't ever tell her this, is that I'd rather empty the dishwasher than fill it. And so what I'll do is I'll empty the dishwasher and I'll cook and then she'll do the dishes after and won't get upset with me for not doing the dishes. So a little trick of the trade, trying to help some folks out since we are just past Father's Day. Um, but from about five to seven, we cook dinner. And then from that, after about that, we, my wife and I sit down just about every night and we just watch television together. And I know what people say about television and all these, all the electronics, but it's, we like to watch mind numbing TV. So we might watch a quiz show. Uh, we're watching this show called the hundred, uh, the 1% right now. And it's, it's a game show and it has to do with questions that only the 1% can answer. Or we watch the wall or we watch, you know, we watch those types of things or we might watch a movie. You might watch a, a Lifetime movie or watch some movie that seems interesting. But we, we usually do that until about uh, 10 or 11. And then we're out and we go to bed. And it's funny because when we go to bed, we're always saying, wow, we should have been here earlier. But we've had such such a good day. Now, some days like today, I'll do, um, I'll do a YouTube. I'll do some YouTube content because, again, I have some inspiration and unfortunately, inspiration for those of you that have YouTube channels or those of you that, that operate within a creative space know that inspiration sometimes doesn't wait for a schedule. And things on that schedule can change. Sometimes I'll go and get my car washed or I'll do something else. I don't get haircuts because, you know, I don't need them. And when I do need them, I do them myself. So save some money there for the retirement budget. And so that's that's kind of a general uh, look at how my day, you know, kind of operates. But as I, as I go into specific days of the week, I've, I've gotten into the routines that certain things that I'll do on certain days. So like on Mondays, for example, I tend to focus on miscellaneous errands and just like if I have to go and do something, I wanted to get my phone fixed. I wanted to go and do something. Uh, I thought I was going to have to go to the Home Depot or Lowe's to get stuff to clean the grill, but I realized I had everything at home. Um, I, and on every other Monday, we have somebody that comes in and does a deep cleaning of the house. Um, so that way we don't have to do it because then we could spend our time. And that's a time that my wife and I go on like a nice two and a half hour drive with each other just to run errands. Um, we sell a lot of stuff on eBay and, and, and those uh, platforms. And so it's an opportunity for us to do that. It's an opportunity for us to just, you know, really just spend some time together. Because at the end of the day, that's that's all it is. It's it's spending time uh, with my wife and my wife spending time with me. Oh, I, I really hope that she enjoys spending time with me as much as I enjoy spending time with her. But that's what we do. Um, and then uh, a lot of times there's weekly garden chores that need to be done. So um, sometimes it's whether it's picking weeds, harvesting vegetables, uh, going to the nursery so I can get some mulch to uh, mulch the, the garden, um, you know, just general maintenance, things like that. But I try to make sure that I, you know, a lot of times, and the big one now is my drip system. And I've been procrastinating because I got some problems with my drip system. But you know, I do, I do a host of uh, garden chores, and I try to film long term, uh, long form YouTube uh, content on Mondays because one of the things that I've committed to you as the viewers is I try to the best of my ability to upload new content long form on on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And what I don't want to do is I don't want to rush the content because I think rushing the content takes away from your experience seeing the information and the information I have to share. And I don't want, I never want to shortcut any of you with that. And so that's usually on Mondays. Um, Tuesdays, I have a friend of mine. He's 82 years old. He's an ex-musician, just a great dude. And, and we go on walks. And that's the big thing for that day is usually early in the afternoon, we'll go out and uh, we'll take a walk. In the summertime, it changes up a little bit. Uh, last week, I played the piano and he played his trumpet and we were just working on music and we played a little bit of pool because it was a million degrees outside and nobody wants to walk when it's a million degrees. Uh, but we, we spend time and, and that's about it. On Wednesday, it's, um, you know, usually try to golf in the afternoon. And so I'll get up in the morning, do what I have to do around here, which is you know, kind of some of the stuff we talked about in the beginning, but I'll try to play golf on Wednesday afternoons, um, usually from about 1130 to about 330 or four, because it gives us it, it, that, that walking gives me a 
form of exercise and I walk it, it's about six miles, six and a half miles, depending on how I hit them. And it, it helps me keep my weight down because again, you may not remember, but I'd mentioned in some earlier videos that I really only have three priorities in retirement. One is my, my relationship with my wife. My second is my time and my third is my health. And one of the ways that I try to keep up with my health, I know a lot of people get into weightlifting and they try to get all fit and all these things, but I'm in pretty good health. I don't have to take any medications. Uh, I don't have any outstanding health issues, no chronic diseases, none of that. And so my goal is just to stay healthy. Let me keep moving as long as I can so I can extend what they call those go-go years and I can keep going. Um, and then on Thursday, um, and, and, and before I get into that, I do want to mention that one of the things that I, I put into my routine every day is some form of exercise or movement. Because again, I think that's, I think it's really important for not just your body, but also your mind to keep moving, keep the blood flowing, keep the oxygen flowing. So you, and all the healing properties of oxygen uh, to the different parts of the body happen during movement. So on Thursday, back to us so on Thursday, I'll try to get up in the morning and do a 10 mile uh, bike ride on my exercise bike. I get up, I have a nice exercise bike that I bought back during the pandemic when the gyms all closed, never went back to the gym, but started riding my exercise bike. I do 10 miles on that um, first thing in the morning. Um, then I'll try to do grocery shopping. I'll go to the grocery store and have and do the big weekly grocery trip so that way we have food. And it's interesting because the grocery store that's local to us restocks on Tuesday. So I go on Wednesday afternoon and there's nobody there. I go at 11 o'clock, nobody's there. It's all stocked. It's 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 kind of this. It's kind of like my uh, it's kind of like my cosmic utopia, if you will. And so, and then I'll find more miscellaneous errands that I have to run, things that maybe I forgot to do, or things that I procrastinated on, or things that just fell to the wayside. Because you know, the reality is, the beauty of retirement is you can do what you want to do, or nothing at all. And sometimes that nothing at all causes other things to be pushed to the side. And so a lot of times on Thursday, I'll try to, I'll try to use those as times to, uh, to pick up on things that maybe I miss. And then I, I also use it as a way to film some additional YouTube content. Uh, Thursdays are a good day because it gives me a couple of days before the weekend to really make sure that I'm conveying the message in the way that I, I think the message uh, should be conveyed. Um, and, and in the most useful format and, and the clearest. And, you know, it's funny because people will tell me that, you know, Salvador, you sound so clear and you sound so eloquent when you're speaking. And I tell them, you have no idea, number one, how nerve wracking it is because I'm out here talking to everybody in the world on my iPhone 13 Pro Max, which I'm thinking of updating. So if you think I need to update my phone to get a bit better camera, please let me know because I want you to get the best experience watching me on this channel. But sometimes I start and I get halfway in and I have to stop because I, I get lost in my words or I say something I don't need to say or I, I go someplace I don't. And so it takes a lot of time. And so I, I wanna make sure that I, I take that time. So I do more uh, content on Thursday and, and spend some time on that. It doesn't take an incredible amount of time, but it takes enough time for me to, to put some time around it. And then Friday, Sometimes I play golf. A lot of times I play golf. Uh, I might schedule appointments or, or different things on a Friday, but generally it's, I'll try to golf on Friday. And again, that's that one thing during the day that I'll do because it takes so much time. That three and a half or that, that four, four and a half hour commitment is fairly significant. There's not many things that we do that take that much time. And so that'll be what I do on Friday. And then Saturday, it's back to gardening chores. Uh, when you're retired, you start to realize that the busy days of the weeks are the days that you don't want to be outside. And so I'll tend to try to do things around the house and, and anything that I forget, um, whether it's household chores, whether it's something I need to pick up from the grocery store or whatever the case is. And then, uh, and then on Sunday, I do a 10 mile ride and then just leave it open because Saturdays and Sundays are the days that others are available because again, when you're retired, not everybody's retired. And so you have to be aware and respectful of the fact that when other people want to spend time with you or you want to spend time with other people, it's not it's not as easy for them to hang out on a Tuesday as it might be for me and my wife. And so what we find is, is what we're doing now in terms of our entertainment 
It's just really living the life that we've wanted to live and not be burdened by having to go into work every day and, and having to deal with the stress of all of that. It's just doing the stuff we want to do. And it's funny because you hear a lot of people make the comment that, especially retired people say, you know, I've, I'm so busy now that I uh, don't have time. I, I don't know how I had time to work. And it's funny, I, I tell people about where my mother lives and she lives in a retirement community. And it's, it's not an independent living. It's everybody has their own house. It's just a 55 and over community. And you know, she's 80 years old. I, I think I mentioned that. And I tell her that she lives on a cruise ship because she's got bingo nights, she's got raffles, she's got book clubs, they take trips to the casino, they do all kinds of stuff. They have way more fun. Actually, they're probably better than Royal Caribbean, to be honest with you. But uh, but again, we, we get in these conversations, we say, you know, we're so busy. It's I call her up and I have to see, can I get on your schedule? Um, and my schedule's not quite as bad, uh, but, you know, it's the same thing. So... You know, so when people ask me, how do I entertain myself? I, the, the easy answer is I entertain myself by living the life that I want to live, doing the things that I want to do. And everything that I do in my life enriches me in one way or another. And I think that even if you're not retired, we all have the opportunity to, to take an inventory of the activities that we're in, the people that we spend time with, and the things that we do to, un, to determine, do they enrich our lives? And can I live what I call my pre-retirement life, uh, even though you may not necessarily be retired, because I think we all owe it to ourselves to live the best life that we can live. Because the fact is, folks, no matter how much planning you do, nothing is guaranteed. And we can all find ourselves in a uh, having it cut short or wishing, you know, cat falling ill or having a family member fall ill and wishing we would have done something uh, different than what we did. So, uh, so on that note, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Um, I, I hope you appreciated or enjoyed this, this content and, you know, you can consider subscribing. I'll leave the link below so you can, you can see that, but again, have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon.